What's going on everybody? This is Mark Kaiser with The Mobile Home Dealer coming to you on location with a brief educational video. Got my stunner shades on today because it's awfully bright and I want to make sure that I'm bringing you all the content without squinting to you the entire time as I speak with you. What we're going to cover today is we're going to cover what is a park model mobile home. Uh, that's a term that doesn't get used very often and a lot of times we have folks in the channel who are curious on what a park model is. Um, they think that uh, the only way to buy a mobile home is either in a single wide or a double wide. And that's not really the case. Park model mobile homes are homes that we have got to talk about more on the channel because we feel like a lot of times it just doesn't get brought up um, in the industry because everybody's focused on a single wide or a double wide. So that's what we're gonna cover today. I thank you so much for taking a moment to watch this. But before we get started, I'm getting serious. Y'all know the drill. Please do us a favor and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Blow so that you're up to speed on everything that we here in the mobile home uh, dealer are doing with our educational videos, the home tours, and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for being a part of the community, having fun with us as we enjoy uh, bringing you all this information here in the mobile home industry. So with that being said, let's talk park models, shall we? So park model mobile homes. Um, they're gonna look exactly like traditional mobile homes. As you see, I'm just walking by a ton of them here. They look the exact same as mobile homes. Um, so what's really the difference? Well, they really have two main differences, okay? And we'll get into one here so I can show you the differences on it uh, here in a moment. But the main thing is going to be the fact that you can only have a single wide park model, okay? You can't have a double wide or a triple wide park model. So all park models that you're gonna see are gonna be about 12 to 14 feet wide. And uh, the length is gonna be a lot shorter, okay? I apologize, there's a construction crew right over there. Uh, doing, a, doing a renovation. So uh, we're not in a hardware store. We're walking around a mobile home park here today and uh, they're out, you know, uh, sawing and banging. So I apologize for the, uh, for the extra noise. So they're always gonna be uh, a single wide uh, mobile home, okay? And they're gonna be shorter in length, okay? Most park models are gonna be about 28. They can go as low as 24. Most of them are gonna be about 28 to 32 feet long. Okay, so they're gonna be shorter and they're gonna be narrower than a double wide, okay? But they're gonna be about as wide as a regular single wide. Okay, so let me go ahead and flip it around and show you one up. So this is a unit, okay, that we just took on as a, um, as a listing. And as you're gonna see, looks just like a single wide, right? Now, as we go over there, it kind of gives the deceiving look that it's a double wide because it has these screens. Okay, but that's not the case. What that is, is that's just gonna be your Florida room. Okay, like we've seen in the other channel. That is gonna be the base of the home. So, okay, whoop to do, Mark, right? I mean, you're not, you're not really telling us anything that we don't know. I understand that, but let's go ahead and go to the side of the house. Now, as we go to the side of the home, try to pan out with the camera here, you're gonna see that it's gonna be noticeably shorter than your regular single wide. Okay, most single wides are gonna range anywhere from about 42 to sometimes 54, 56 feet. We've had a few on the channel that have gone up to uh, 58 feet, but the most, majority of them are gonna be high 40s, low 50s. Uh, this unit that we're looking at is 32 feet long. Okay, so it's gonna look just like a short, just like a short single wide, but it has everything else that a normal mobile, normal mobile home would have. You get your central AC, you get your vinyl siding, you get your exterior um, uh, hot water heater there. And as you go to the back of the house, you're gonna see again, it looks exactly the same. Okay. Again, there's the base of the home. That's gonna be the separate entrance for the uh, Florida room and there's your Florida room. So it looks exactly the same as a traditional, the traditional mobile home here. Gotta love live TV here. It, it, looks, it looks exactly the same uh, as a regular mobile home, okay? But it's just gonna be shorter. That's the main difference. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop inside here so you can get a real good idea of what it looks like inside. Um, again, doesn't look that much difference than a, uh, than a single wide. Although the hallway, um, but in between the living room and the, uh, the dining, or the living room and the bedroom, you're gonna see here in a second, uh, it does feel kind of smaller. Uh, that's really just because they're packing a lot of punch in a small area here. So we're gonna go ahead and show the inside. Now, as we enter the property, again, this is just gonna be the Florida room. So it looks exactly the same, right? You're seeing that this looks exactly the same as a regular mobile home. But then when you pan over to the entrance of the home, that's where it's gonna start looking a little bit different, 
because we have a couple of stairs inside to the body of the property. Okay, so as we jump in here, again, looks exactly like a mobile home. Now, a lot of times, like we mentioned outside, the, um, the hallway is going to be a little bit narrower, okay, because you got the refrigerator, and this, has, this is how about all of them are set up. you got the refrigerator right next to the stove, okay, so it's going to be kind of a narrow walk path. And it's going to tie directly into the bathroom. Um, this is a beautiful home. Um, and then the bedroom there with the vault. Okay, so you're seeing that it, essentially it looks like just a single wide mobile home but shorter, okay? So that's really the, the main difference between a park model and a, uh, and a single wide mobile home is gonna be the length of the house, okay? Now, um, the obvious question then is like, okay, well, what would be the, the, the pro? Like, why would you look to buy a park model? Well, you'd look to buy a park model for a couple of reasons. The first one is a lot of times park models, they're gonna be available um, in RV-based neighborhoods, uh, RV-based parks. Um, so you have the ability to purchase one a lot of times for a lot cheaper than a, a traditional single wide. Now this home is beautiful, uh, but if this home were a single wide or even a double wide, it'd be significantly more expensive than this one. Okay, most park models are gonna be about, uh, probably about 50% less rough numbers than a comparable single wide, okay? Now you are gonna get a shorter home, so you're gonna get less square footage, but you're gonna get a lot of more, lot more bang for your buck. Um, a lot of times, since it is going to be smaller than your, your, your utility bill, a lot of times it's going to be a little bit less because you're going to be heating or cooling um, or, or running power to a smaller area. Okay, so if you're in the market for a mobile home and you just think that you have to either get a single wide or a double wide, that's not the case. Entertain the idea of a park model mobile home. Okay, it's going to be a little bit smaller. Okay, but you're going to get a lot of the niceties and a lot of the location that a regular mobile home does for a lot less money. So if you're looking to save money, you're looking to get a nice affordable property, um, and you're wanting to, to, to really watch your pennies, guys, really take a look at Park Model Mobile Homes as they're fantastic properties that I feel really fly under the radar that a lot of people know, don't know about. I hope this was very uh, helpful for you, getting a better idea of exactly what a park model is, where they're located, and how you guys can benefit from it. Uh, you, where do you guys live at? Do you guys uh, have park models in the areas that you're at? This is a big thing down in Florida. It's a really big thing in Arizona and Texas. But you Midwesterners around the channel, you get a lot of uh, park models where you're at? Let us know in the comments below. Drop us a comment, let us know. And I uh, really appreciate you being a part of this video. Thanks so much. My name is Mark with The Mobile Home Dealer. We'll see you all folks on the next one.